When I first started out uh, chasing orchids many, many years ago, um, I was a professional photographer. I had all the gear, so taking photographs was never a problem. And I honed in very quickly on the pretty flowers, banged them up on social media and said, this is common spotted and this is southern marsh. And I was quite proud of that because the pictures looked great, but people would constantly come back and say, no, 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 that is a Grandis hybrid. And I used to think, what? What is a Grandis hybrid? And I never really knew for quite some time till I was bothered enough to read my copy of Harrop's and uh, learn what a Grandis hybrid was. Grandis hybrids is kind of a, it's an informal fun abbreviation for the scientific name Dactylorhiza cross Grandis, which is as difficult to spell as it is to pronounce. I thought, you know, I'll just call it a Grandis hybrid and I will be in this video. Uh, Grandis hybrid, what is it? It's a cross between common spotted and southern marsh orchids and it's the number one most common without actually being common, but in the orchid world, relatively speaking, it's the most common hybrid of them all. So the purpose of this video is to hopefully give those of you who are just starting out the confidence to pick out in a patch of big purple topped orchids, what is a Southern Marsh and what is a Grandis hybrid? And in some cases, what is a common spotted orchid? Because they can all grow together in close proximity and look remarkably the same. Now. There's one golden rule, which if you remember nothing from this video except this, it is don't try and identify any orchid really, but particularly these from the flower down or just from the flower. I'll tell you why, because common spotted orchids and southern marsh orchids are incredibly variable in terms of flower colour and in terms of the markings on those flowers. So if you start with the flower, I mean, if you had 10 common spotted orchids side by side, they could all look different. If you had 10 southern marsh side by side, they could also look different. So a hybrid between the two could be heaven only knows what. It could be all over the place and you're staring at it thinking, what is this? Probably giving up or at the very least getting it wrong. So I'm hoping to give you some tips as to how to avoid that. And the one tip that I will keep repeating is do not start with the flower get down on your knees and start at the bottom. Start with the leaves, come up through the stem and leave the flowers to stage three of the identification process. And if you do that, and if you remember that, if you remember, start at the bottom, not at the top, you're halfway there at least. So I'm gonna go off and try and find common spotted orchids, southern marsh orchids and its offspring and try and demonstrate the differences. Right. Here we have a sort of typically stout looking purple orchid. Um, let's dive into the flowers that are just below us and work out what it is. Only don't do that because that's where the biggest mistakes are made. Don't go into the flower, drop down below the flower and start looking at the indicators below it. So we're going to go right down to the bottom and you can see down there the leaves are clean, there are no spots on them. And the only question you need to be asking yourself with these is quite simply, are there spots on the leaves? Are there no spots on the leaves? There are no spots on that leaf. So we can tick a box there straight away. And indeed, if you were to stop at this point and say, this is a Southern Marsh Orchid because there are no spots on the leaves, in nine cases out of 10, you're gonna be right. If you work down from the flower, you'd probably only have a 30% chance if you decided to pronounce it as a Southern Marsh Orchid. So start at the bottom, right? No spots on the leaves. It is probably going to be a Southern Marsh Orchid, but let's keep going. Let's go up to the second key indicator, which is that stem. Now, do this very, very gently. Thumb and forefinger only, and a gentle squeeze. It's very flexible. It is like, squeezing a plastic drinks straw and if it is that flexible then that stem is hollow and you're only going to get a hollow stem on a marsh orchid so you've got non-spotty leaves you've got a marsh orchid stem if you stopped there and said it's a southern marsh orchid you're probably now going to be 49 times out of 50 spot on and if you're wrong you're going to be damn close 
You can come up to the flowers if you wish, which you will obviously. A pretty much classic southern marsh flowers. Uh, the right shape, the right colour, uh, pale throat, spots on it. Um, but it can be a very variable flower on the southern marsh orchid. So if you start with a flower, you can get it wrong. So start at the bottom, work your way up. It's a marsh orchid set of leaves with no spots. It's a marsh orchid stem because it's hollow. And the flowers are at least good enough to not scream out that it's something else. So that is a good old pure southern marsh orchid. Okay, here's the second parent to a Grandis hybrid. This is a common spotted orchid. As you can see, the leaves are absolutely covered in spots. So again, you know that this has got a common spotted orchid in it. It is either a common spotted or it is a hybrid. It can only be one or the other. So let's move up to the stem. Again, give it a gentle squeeze. There's no flexibility in that stem. It is rock solid. Um, so now you've got spotted leaves, you've got a solid stem, you know already this is going to be a common spotted orchid without even seeing the flowers. So let's come up to the flowers and okay there's nothing on there that says it's not a common spotted. Now you're probably thinking, hold it, this ain't purple. I'd have known this was a common spotted just by looking at the flowers and yes you probably would but they can be purple. They can be purple and the markings can be less distinct than these. So don't get lazy, get down low. If you see something like this, you think that's a common spot. It just takes five seconds to look at the leaves, right? And if you're still a bit unsure, check that the stem is solid. But all three factors on this one scream out, common spotted orchid. Now you might also note the markings on these leaves, sorry, on these flowers, I'm always calling them leaves. Look at the markings on these flowers. They are what is known as womble faces. If you don't know what a womble is, because you're younger than I am, most people are, these are wombles. Right, look at that womble face, then look at the orchid flower. A bona fide, straightforward textbook, common spotted orchid, which is what this is, will have womble faces on the flower so that's just an added informal relaxed fun way to identify a common spotted orchid so now we need to find something that has mixed this parent common spotted orchid with the other parent southern marsh orchid to create the grandees so let's go and find one right let's bring all this together now um, let me make mistake number one here by looking at this particular orchid and starting with the flower, the thing not to do. Um, looking at that flower, it's a southern marsh orchid. Why not? Well, the why not would come into play if you started at the bottom. Because if you start at the bottom, those leaves have got spots on them. And you don't get spots on the leaves of a southern marsh orchid. So straight away, had you started at the bottom, you would already know that this orchid has common spotted parentage. Uh, if you live in an acidic soil area, um, it might be heath spotted, but we're talking about the bulk of the country here. Um, so um, it's all common spotted in my area. So we know from the leaves that is a common spotted parent in here. Uh, going up to the stem, again, a gentle squeeze. It is like a plastic straw. It's hollow and you've got a complete contradiction there. Spotted leaves screaming out common spotted and a hollow stem screaming out marsh orchid. And that is therefore going to be a hybrid before you even look at the flowers. Uh, if you look at the flowers, like I say, you know, it looks like a southern marsh orchid, which is why you shouldn't start there because you'll get it wrong. Um, but there's nothing in those flowers that contradict what we've seen underneath. Uh, there's lines there that might say common spotted, there's certainly spots there that would say southern marsh, but don't start with the flowers, start underneath, put all three sections together, that is a Grandis hybrid. There you go, that is the Grandis hybrid. Um, I hope some of that made sense to you. As I said earlier, 
Um, if you remember only one thing and one thing only from this uh, video, it is check your orchids from the bottom up if you're struggling with identification, particularly of the sort of uh, dactylorizers, the southern marshes and the common spotteds and the uh, Grandis hybrid, you really need to start from the bottom. You start from the top, you're going to be in all sorts of problems very, very quickly. So as I say, in future, hopefully when you're faced with a mass of these wonderful, uh, very picturesque, big purple topped orchids, you can at least bend down and say, I know that that is a Grandis hybrid and I know that is a Southern Marsh orchid because all the indicators below the flower will support that. So as I say, I hope this takes you on a small step forward in the wonderful and often confusing world of orchid identification. Thanks for tuning in.